I'm gonna do the same style too of trees because um, they're in a forest together and they are the same kind of tree. But before I do that, I'm gonna do my ground just like I did with the other one. I'm gonna do the ground first. That sort of bush looking forest kind of ground. I'm gonna use a dry, dry brush for this again. I'm just gonna start tapping it in. If you don't have a brush that makes this kind of mark and you wanna make one of your brushes look like this, um, a sort of a hack you can do is when we are done, let some of the acrylic paint dry in the tip of your brush and don't clean it. And then like when it's almost dry, like too late to wash it, you can kind of smoosh it around and spread it out a little bit. And when it's dry, it'll be kind of crusty but those are really good brushes for making this kind of look. Um, letting you know we only have five more minutes. I'm going to keep working on this and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with these background trees. I'm going to start adding my black trees in there. Um, if you want to stop and be done, then we'll just continue this tomorrow. No rush. I feel like everybody's always trying to rush through things. We don't have to rush through these. Take your time, make your happy little forest. You know it's okay that you can overlap your tree branches because that's how trees grow. All right, so I'm probably gonna stop there, but this is the effect. 
it gives with that layer in the foreground and then the layer in the background. So um, I think a couple of you are just working on catching up, which is fine. Um, I would maybe at least get this far if you want to continue and do your black trees that are in the foreground, go for it. If you want to stop for today um, or do more practicing too, you all look like you're super into it, which is great. Um, but we only have two more minutes and then we have to stop for today. Layla Marie, you look like you have quite a setup going on down there. That's kind of how my kitchen looks right now. 